Detroit school shocker. Top administrators running a charter school may be more familiar with the courtroom than the classroom. Some became famous because of close ties to former Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick, now in prison. And the state is investigating whether many of them are even properly certified. Seven investigator Jim Kurtzner shows us it all started with the school superintendent. It's the hardest, but the most rewarding thing I've ever done. That's Sharon McPhail, who's running this charter school called Detroit Community Schools. It is K through 12, about 800 students. She's deliberately been low profile here, going on four years. We'll come back here to school in a minute. But first, a Detroit history lesson. McPhail became high profile, elected to the Detroit City Council and accusing former mayor Kwame Kilpatrick, then an enemy, of trying to electrocute her. These wires wrapped around the um, metal base of the chair. And the chair was plugged in, turning it into an electric chair. I was frankly amazed. She represented former Mayor Kilpatrick while he was fighting to stay in office in a hearing before the governor. He ultimately resigned and went to prison for 28 years in a federal bribery conviction. What are your thoughts on everything that's been going on for the people now you of know Detroit? I can't talk about that. Her public comments would change as more incriminating evidence would come out. Is there any remorse there? Oh my goodness, I can't believe how much remorse I've seen. Today back at school in her new career, Sharon McPhail liked showing us around. So, so this is K through 8? Yes. As a former social worker, she says her learning environment is filled with fun, music, and help with self-esteem in art therapy. Many kids here in the Detroit West Side Brightmore area come from very troubled homes. And what does this picture tell you? that he's in a lot of pain. He's living around gunfire now. I did not have any experience in running so a school district. So is this trial district. by fire for you? No, it's, um, you know, I'm just good at these things. Good? You be the judge. Several of her choices for top administrators have their own. Detroit history. Former DPS CEO William Coleman III is under indictment tonight. And he's a very honest guy. Coleman left Dallas for Detroit. Along with two other men in Texas, Coleman is accused of charges involving bribery, money laundering, and conspiracy. Get this, Coleman is now chief financial officer of McPhail's charter school. Oh, he's not in here. Well, I'll get him. This is Mr. Coleman's little area. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. But and we're he building. is your chief financial officer. Mm -hmm. At the moment, yep. The U.S. Attorney's Office in Dallas says it will give William Coleman an amount of time it considers reasonable to surrender himself. A decade ago, Coleman would cut a deal with the feds, plead guilty to a misdemeanor to testify against the others in Texas. It's sad to have to be known for the rest of your life by the one mistake that you made. And These are pretty big mistakes. Well, they are if you really look at them and you really understand them, and I do. Here's more history with her top administrators, including a former Inkster judge. After a 7 Action News investigation and hearing, she was ousted for mishandling funds. Money collected after Judge James sentenced people to work details instead of county jail. Sharon McPhail defended the judge as her attorney then, and still does, as her boss today. She should not have been booted from the bench after more than two decades? Absolutely not. Me? Absolutely she shouldn't have, no. The judge is now the dean of the well. charter school. She would not discuss her past. She's in charge of student discipline. I can redirect them away from some of their bad choices. One final history lesson, a cousin of former Detroit Mayor Kilpatrick, who was the city's deputy human resources director. Patricia Peoples was back in a Detroit courtroom this morning, hoping to avoid jail time. She did no jail time eight years ago. She avoided contempt of court while accused of not cooperating with a subpoena seeking records of the former mayor. This woman is not responsible for what Kwame Kilpatrick did. She happens to be related to him. Peoples is the school's director of human resources and student admissions. Is it fair to make, to say she shouldn't be able to work? I shouldn't hire her because she happens to be related to him? That's, that's just so wrong. Is something new wrong? State Department of Education officials confirmed to 7 Action News. McPhail, Coleman, and another administrator are under investigation for not being certified by the state. The problems with this charter school were first published by Bridge Magazine to try to get better state oversight and reform. It's a lot of layers of issues here. And look at this. McPhail has since changed her title from superintendent that was on the school's website just a couple of weeks ago to CAO, chief administrative officer, now on the school website. 
With the change, McPhail says she is not required to be state certified, but her penalty, state officials say, could be removal from office. And if it comes up, it'll be dealt with. But so do you, do you, you don't think you need to be removed from this school district? You know what? <laughs> there are days the when rules. I wanted to be, but, but honestly, my, no, no, but no, my question is. Not. No, of course not. And there's one more major problem for Sharon McPhail and her charter school. While she walks us through showing off achievement certificates for her high school seniors this year, the bottom line of last year is not posted on display. 84 students graduate last year and zero past the ACT last year, okay. 2015. Um, I'll have Ms. Jordan pull that stuff. Then, a minute later, uh -huh. is that accurate or isn't it? 84 students, zero past the ACT. You gotta define pass. If you want me to answer it, I'll be happy it? to. How do, How do define I define pass? Yeah. I don't. That is what it is. But okay. is and it so this school's fault that every kid doesn't ace the ACT or SAT? Okay, I'll let you answer that. When is school in Detroit gonna be about school and not about people, not about contracts, not about scandals, grown-ups. When are we going to focus on academic achievement in a real way? The school gets its charter from Bay Mills Community College in the UP. The college gets paid 3% of the revenue from the school. The college is also supposed to maintain oversight, but they did not respond to our questions. Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Sharon McPhail says she's paid $130,000 a year. The average teacher in her charter school is paid 42000 a year, and most of her other top administrators, including the ones with a history, are paid double that. We have a